Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil's Third. Let's continue with this utter shitshaw, uh, shitshaw? Utter shitstorm, I should say. <clears throat> A game that's really desperately trying to be uh, Ninja Gaiden, Resident Evil 6, and Call of Duty all at once. Let's continue. Uh, I don't know why there's like a neon backdrop to this. Neon uh, Mount Fuji looking motherfucker. Oh shit. Right. Oh, let's go. Oh dear. Yeah, so when we last left off, we fought that massive boss thing. Uh, I believe that was the last episode anyway. Everything that happens in this game is kind of just like rolling into one, to be honest. One frame at a time. Oh my god. Can we shoot the lights out? We actually can. Impressive, Snake. No, we can't. It just kind of looks like we can. Alright, well, no shit shit lock. Take a detour to the enemy position. Right, okay. Ah, uh, can't even shoot out the lights. Not that I thought we'd be able to, but, I mean, you know, come on. Alright, we got anything stashed away here. Doesn't look like it. Walk right into what? Focus. That's a lot of firepower. Two cords in the windows and one on the ground. Alright. Uh, wait. Where's the other guy just, like, fucked off to? Uh, I'm sure he's... Oh, there he is. Just... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh god, here we go. More ninjas. More ninjas. Ow, my face. My beautiful face. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You know what? Let's just whip out the ninja sword, because why not? Well, I mean, we chopped him into about a thousand pieces. He looks like a fucking Christmas ham. Oh, hello. Not sure why you started slicing into the air, but hey. You do you do you, bro. Hey, we got our superpower ready. I mean maybe maybe it does a little bit more damage? I don't know. I tell you what this is making me really want to play. Ninja Gaiden. Like it oh hello. It really is. And that's a game I haven't played in years. But I have just picked up the remake for, uh, well, just picked it up, picked it up months ago for uh, the PlayStation 3. So maybe we'll have a look at that. Uh, how's it get? Oh, God, that's good. Oh, my God. Trying to aim at people. Trying. Being the operative word here. There we go. <laughs> Head pop. I do like the head pops in this game. They are satisfying. Hold Hold on. Get out of here, ninja. Go, ninja, go, ninja, go. Go, ninja, go, ninja, go. Oh, hey, friends. Oh, my God. Help. Save me. Frame rate. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Alright, let's go for it. I mean, they're kind of shooting at me. I was thinking, these um, sections where we're on turrets, can we actually fail these? Whoa. Because it doesn't really feel like we can. But, you know, hey, the less we have to reload checkpoints, the better, I guess. Uh, dude? Dude? Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I mean, that's that, I guess. Uh, nah, we stay with what, Whoa, we stay with what we got. They really do just like hiding soldiers everywhere, don't they? Okay, I guess this area is all clear. Yes, ma'am. Still kicking. Well, what do you expect? He's got that fetching scarf his mother stitched for him. All right. Well, this place is very fancy. I'm not sure why so much of it's cordoned off, but hey. 
With the power of ale, we shall make it through this game. Ooh. Oh, this is swanky. Uh, thank you. There's a gold statue, man. We'll have that. Maybe we can sell it. You can hear the pitter-patter of uh, large feet behind here. Or not. Maybe that was a bug. Thanks for bailing us out. Again. But next time, a little quicker. Yeah, I wouldn't want you get blood on that nice uh, scarf of yours. All right. Looks like we're about to hit the shit again. <clears throat> oh <laughs> my fucking god, ninja! I'm trying to aim at you. I'm trying so very hard to aim at you. I guess we can't hide behind that cover because <laughs> it disintegrates. Caraway is the director of NDI, which stands for National Defense Intelligence. Uh, who the fuck is that? Is that someone we're supposed to know? I feel like these um, tooltip screens just spout random bollocks at us. With very little uh, hook up to the actual main events that are happening. But I don't really think the game truly understands itself what's what's happening, to be fair. Ooh, fuck. We're stuck. We were stuck on the stairs. Really? Nope, we're fine. Alright, we need to take these guys down as quick as we can. Really? You're not dead. Oh, wonderful. Let's have a cover mechanic where you can't actually throw grenades out from behind said cover. Seems redundant. At least we're more or less untouchable behind here. Oh, man. I had to say it. I had to say it. Uh, Bob, are you actually doing anything worthwhile? I mean, I, I kind of know the answer to that. But I just wanted to give you a chance to defend yourself. Why don't you, like, get that minigun out, Bob? You know, the thing that you're just hoarding for show. There we go. I mean, the AI in this game certainly doesn't seem to do anything, does it? It just seems that, you know, well, stand there and wait for you to take care of business. Which is fine, I guess. Oh, good. Can we kill these people, please? Thank you. AI, are you going to do anything? No? No? Nothing at all? I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh, I almost said it. You're going to leave me to have all the fun myself, are you? I'm not sure why that ammo was so hard to pick up there. I'm not sure I really care either, to be honest. Right, you guys can come out of hiding now. Ugh, why do we bother with these people? I get the feeling this would have been a smoother operation if we went in by ourselves. Because they uh, really don't seem to be doing much of anything. Road's blocked. Damn. I wanted to check out the rest. Okay, there's a... So book of vacation. Yeah. No. The Major puts the enemy assembly point at the end of this street. We'll take the alley ahead and find the hotel. All right. You do that. There's a shotgun over there if we want it, but the shotgun is literal garbage. It is a pointless weapon. You know it. You know there's going to be ninjas here somewhere. I don't trust it. We know what the game's like for throwing ninjas at us. Oh, we have a dead man. Why not? And we have Oran's News. Nightclub guide. Sure. 
We'll have the night. Oh, really? They're just like standing there. Don't even react to grenades being thrown at them. Really? <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever. That made our time easier, I suppose. Oh, hello. His bleeding head fell off. Oh, hey, friend. So it takes about four headshots to kill someone. Which is cool. Hey, we haven't had any zombies for a while, have we? Ow! My face! My face! My face! Can I move, please? We've got lots of big explosions going off. Not sure if they're going off for any particular reason. Uh, more RPG guys. Cool. What are you doing? You're just like standing there. Not actually doing much of anything. Come on. Let's see that head of yours. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's try a different weapon. Alright, let's go, Bob. Uh, Bob. Well, there's nothing up here, Bob. Actually, very surprised we could even jump over that boundary, to be honest. Okay. Alright. Oh, I guess we're going this way. Hey, another elevator. This game likes its elevators. What's up with the paint job? It's like an album cover. <laughs> You're showing your age, Captain. To do the honors. Yeah, someone's better use the minigun. Okay, did not expect to be doing this. Oh, Jesus! So we've got unlimited ammo as well. Nice. Where are our guys gone? They've just like vanished off the face of the earth. Um, ow. Ow. Oh boy. Chimera virus. Hmm. Makes me think of another game. Much better game. Shoot down the enemy helicopter. Yes, he only takes about a thousand bullets from a Gatling gun. Well, okay. There's like no feedback either to whether you're doing any damage. There's a slight bit of smoke. Make it count. Oh, we can't actually take cover here. Alright, good to know. Uh, Where is the helicopter? There it is. It's that fireball in the sky. Havoc down. Oh. C4 was on board. Ah, oh, C4. That's such a cringy. I'm guessing that's a code name. I mean, it's rubbish, but. Go on the head, Captain. I think someone's waiting for me. Yeah, she's fine. I very much doubt she's, you know. Burning to death in the wreckage of a of a havoc somewhere. Right, let's have a little look. See if there's any collectibles. Yeah, I thought I'd go back through this game and get all the collectibles, and you know maybe I will, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could go through this game again, to be honest. Oh. 
Uh, you got heavy machine. Well, LMG. But the, the travel, all the weapons are shit though. They're all the same. Ugh. Right. There we go. Ninjas. Go, ninja. Go, ninja. Go. They couldn't avoid those bullets, could they? Right, where are we at? Uh, uh, door. I guess. Oh, hey, friend. There is, there's like the smallest possible amount of potential in these environments. But they're just so boring. They're so dull. I mean, it doesn't feel like we're progressing through this level at all. It's just the same red wood. I mean, look at that. Well... I guess she survived because uh, plot armor. Oh, more ninjas! See those ninjas just spawning. Hey guys, hey hey, is it, hey man, look, is it cool if we just you know use the guns? Because I I just I can't be bothered to do the melee. There we go. Feel better for that, guys. May you rest. May you rest in five frames a second. I mean, they. I mean, what is that? Is that part of the? Yeah, I guess that's part of the debris coming from space. Still, or is that coming from? Coming from uh, the volcano. We may never know. We may never know. <laughs> he just flipped into the wall. Uh, probably, Ivan. Something's calling you. The end of the game, hopefully. This is very impressive, this uh, castle. Anything? Oh, ninjas, of course. What, what, what did I think there would be? Blue ninjas and red ninjas, I guess. There we go. Oh my good god. Well, his head... Jesus Christ! His head came off, but I think it almost crashed the system. And we literally just walked through that ammo pack without picking it up. Right, let's go. Okay. Any goodies tucked away? Where's the safe? Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, friend. All that training. All of your life preparing for this moment. To be shredded in about 30 seconds. Or 30 milliseconds. Ah, oh, good lord. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's depressing, isn't it? To be training your entire life. And then just to be taken out by a nobody. I guess... We've got to use heavy attacks on him. Yep. Neutralize the enemy leader. Right, cool. Is that going to be a boss? It's going to be a boss, isn't it? Cherry Blossom, because why not? Can't have this Japanese aesthetic without Cherry Blossom. Well, at least the music stopped. Small mercies and all that.
Jane. Hello, Chief. Ivan. It's been years since you've come to my bedroom. Oh, God. I heard about Big Mouse. And now I find myself a widow. Life can bring so many changes. She looks like a Brazzers model. I know you like the lights on. But I move so much better in the dark. Jesus Christ. Yep, it's definitely from the same guy that dreamt up Dead or Alive Extreme. Let's fight a half-naked chick that looks like a plastic doll. Because why not? Alright, where are you hiding? Let's get this over with. Guessing we can't... Oh, God. Okay. Guess we can't actually... Hurt her. With a sword? Jane Doe. Oh, fucking hell. That's actually her name. Right. Well, let's take the cronies out. Shall we? I'm guessing we've got to maybe use bullets on her. Which is why we have so many enemies. And we use them to farm for ammo. Do you like my eyes? I do. Come in, Jane. We were ordered to test the Simon Janet formula. Big mouth. Soft arm. Gun ring free form. We are suckers. We aren't even human. Well, I had to suffer through that accent, so you're going to suffer through getting shot repeatedly. Yeah. I don't think guns are the way to go for her. Whoa, did she just, like, appear from halfway across the screen? I think so. Whoa, fire. Hellfire. Not sure if that's actually doing much. Probably not. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, that kick she does just, like, homes in on you from across the screen. Got ya. Yeah, she's difficult to hit. Maybe we do have to get in on some melee action. Yeah, melee action, I guess. Duck, duck and dodge. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Is the fire actually burning her? No. Why would it? Oh, God. Really? You just knocked my feckin' blade out of my hands. Please don't do that. I need it to kill you. Oh, my God. I can only imagine there's probably about four... Oh, God. It's probably about four... 11 year old boys that probably really enjoyed this but you know this is just pure cringe all right let's try it again shall we i mean in all fairness the creator of this game is one of the most legendary perverts oh god in the industry i mean have you seen they're alive or Ninja Gaiden, for that matter. Okay. Right, let's wait for her to fire that off. Once she does that, she goes into melee. Or is it when you get close to her? Not really sure. Thanks, love. Okay. 
Isn't this romantic? This fight around the cherry blossom. Be nice if you could aim in the right direction there. Ivan. Okay, I guess he's a simple man. Ow! Okay, there we go. Kind ah, uh, really? Really? What's this shit? What's this? What's this? What was that? I guess she's now going to use the heavy machine gun again. Nope, she's going to kick me in the back of the head. Cool. Hopefully she's lost the machine gun. Ow. Okay, come on. Get your health back. Get your health back. There we go. Alright, see if we can slice and dice. I think the only good thing about her character model is the tattoo on her back, but even that is pretty generic. There we go. So duck, dodge, slice. Okay, so sometimes you can like wiggle her off and sometimes you can't. I guess there's two different moves that look exactly the same. Because why not? Can you stop knocking my fucking katana out of my hand? Sorry, my ninja sword. Sorry. It's very rude of you, I must admit. Okay, concentrate. Concentrate, Ivan. Oh, that's such an obnoxiously irritating move. Hide behind the tree. And then get her from behind. Although, we would get her from behind if Ivan would actually aim. Instead of just wildly spamming the fucking sword. Ugh, okay. So, it's three hits. Three hits, and then hide. Yeah, so using our special power doesn't do any more damage to her. And doesn't seem to help us out either. Like, we still take the same amount of damage. Can we, like, do anything to stop this? I guess not. You literally just have to sit there and watch yourself be slaughtered. Oh, Jesus. Right, okay. See, look, how comes, how comes we can actually shake her off then and we couldn't before? Is that a bug? Is it a feature? You know, what's going on? <sighs> oh, fuck off, man. Okay, let's hide behind the tree, get our health back. You know, in a way, I'm glad we have regenerating health in this game. There goes our katana, or our ninja sword. Sorry, my bad. Let's throw a grenade at her, see if that does anything. Nope, it doesn't. Because the grenades take about seven hours to go off. I don't think the developer of this game had actually played video games before. He probably just like read a book of what a video game is. He just decided to just fucking bodge it together. Ugh. I mean, I'm sure that there is a deep combat system here somewhere. But I don't know. I've got my doubts about that, actually. I think this is probably as deep as it gets. Okay. Just keep rolling around the invincible cherry tree. At least the cherry blossom tree, anyway. Yeah, she's trying to do the whole Matrix Neo thing. Just, you know, with less clothes, less personality, less style, less grace. Right, so I think we can hit her twice and then 
and then we dodge and we've got about a 50% chance of actually um, dodging the attack but it does seem to be pure chance yep okay ouch ouch damn it missed missed it missed it right we need to hide because we're about to die yeah we're about to die oh she's gonna do this thing that you can't actually get out of it's just like an instant yeah so that is an instant kill basically there's nothing you can do you've just got to watch a really long drawn out scene cool maybe we should soften her up with some shots of her own Keep going around the cherry tree. Rinse and repeat. I mean, we've got like a fifth of her health down. The thing is, it doesn't really matter because, like, the game will just decide to kill you. And you, you know, there's very little you can really do about it. I think the damage that the enemy attacks do is uh, random as well. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, we just have to use this uh, sword every now and again. Ouch. Come on, just keep ducking and rolling, ducking and rolling. Oh, we actually got three hits in then. Yep, no point using the gun, really. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, see what I mean? The game will just decide to kill you. Uh, what are we on? 32 minutes. I mean... I do vaguely remember reading that there's some kind of counter-attack move in this game, but I don't actually trust it to work, to be honest. And I don't know if it's going to work on the bosses either. Because you can't really get into a proper attack. Um, you can't get into a proper melee with them. You just seem to be able to hit them a couple of times before they decide that you've hit them enough. And then they'll just use one of their, say, four or so moves, which may or may not instantly kill you. See, like that, for instance. Sometimes attacking her stuns her. And other times it just does nothing. Sometimes it does damage, and other times it's like that. Sometimes it damages her, sometimes it doesn't. It's just a lottery, really. There we go. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Keep dodging, Ivan. See, the trouble is, when you dodge them, Ivan seems to lose his focus. And then we'll just attack in any direction. Okay. Kind, yeah. Kind of saw that happening. Ah. Oh. Really? Right. What happens if we actually block? Nothing. She just does that. Okay. Cool. Just hide behind the tree. Yeah, so when she... After she fires her gun... She'll then charge us, but when she's charging, we can damage her, but she's invincible. Okay. I'm trying to work out how many attacks she strings together, but it seems completely random. I 
I, yeah, it's, it doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. Okay. It also... Like, sometimes Ivan will aim and kind of lock on. Other times he just doesn't. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It just depends what the game wants to do. And she can stun lock you and hit you three or four times in a row to just kill you. And other times you can block. Oh my god, this game. Why? Why did I think this was a good idea? Okay. You know, when people say that this is the worst game on the Wii U, they're definitely not kidding. But I think it goes deeper than that. I actually think it's one of the worst games ever made. And I can't really think of any redeeming features for it either. Even down to that dreadfully generic music playing in the background. As long as she doesn't just decide to do that instant kill move, which I was going to say, see how inconsistent the damage is. Sometimes that puts you in the black and white almost dead state. Sometimes the screen just goes faintly red. Definitely lending to my theory that enemy attacks do random damage. And see how she locks on to you as well. Uh, Ivan, you're going to have a pretty bad back after this. Really? But I was behind the fucking tree. I guess that doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Hide. Hide. Right, move it, move it, Ivan. At any minute, she's just going to decide that we're going to be killed. At any minute now. Yeah, like that. The way she just kicks around a corner like a homing fucking missile. It makes no sense whatsoever. Even in the context of the rules of the game that we've learned so far, it makes no sense. There we go. Every single move just missed for some reason. Now this is where it's going to get bad because we're stuck on a tree. Right, now we've got our power. I mean, the trouble is this superpower of ours, it doesn't do anything. Great. Now the game's stuck me behind a fucking wall that I can't see through. Yeah, that was good. <sighs> okay. There she goes with that homing kick of hers. Okay. So, I don't... Alright. I genuinely don't know how we avoid that kick. It just seems to be random. It's a total and utter lottery. Like that. Did we do damage? I don't know. Yeah. Don't... Oh, fuck right off. Just fuck off. Alright, let's hide. Wait for her to come to us. Wait, she backflipped? Why did she do that? She's never done that before. Yeah. Come on, she's almost dead. She's almost dead. See? That time, she almost killed us with it. Whereas usually it just knocks us down to red. 
Okay, we're so close. We're so close. So close to be, di be done with this. So close. Alright, there we go. A couple of pokes with the sword. Hide. Come on. Wait for her to do that. Couple of pokes. Nope, she's dodging. She's dodging. Couple of pokes. Oh, she's got like... She's got one pixel of health left. Thank fuck for that. Jane. Where is the sword base? This looks ridiculous. If you want to know more, ask the prisoner in the Iridium clan. He'll tell you. Oh no, I don't have to fight her again, do we? These war hit her deformity from you. A shame. Of what she's become. She worshipped you, I think. My eyes can see everything. But can change nothing. Right. If you want to kill me, kill me. Life. Death. All the same. Not really. Quite different, actually. fact, some might say they're polar opposites of each other. Me darkness. It's where you'll find the true light. Didn't you just, like, cut her throat? I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't think the game knows what's going on anymore either. There's some backstory. Jane said something about a prisoner in the island's industrial zone. According to U.S. press sources, this lab was built for a physicist, Dr. Maida, who designed some sort of super armor alloy. Sending you his profile. The prisoner Jane mentioned must be Dr. Maida. Okay. I like the way the wheels aren't even moving on the train. Or the lift, I should say. If you want to know more, ask the prisoner in the Iridium clan. He'll tell you. Like, what do you even say about this game? Honestly. Right. Anyway, with that, uh, we're going to call it here. We're 45 minutes into this. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure most of that was fighting um, the boss there. Oh. Well, when we come back, we're going to continue to suffer through this utter slurry of a game. Um, hopefully, we will eventually... Well... <laughs> Hopefully we'll crack the game before the game cracks me. That remains to be seen. Um, definitely the contender, uh, a new contender, I suppose, for the worst game that I've ever played. It's between this and um, Clock Tower. 
so far. I mean, not not the second clock tower, which uh, technically is the first for the most Western people. Um, but oh man, like, it's just, I can't even think of anything. Though this game has no defense either. I mean, clock tower was shit, but it was a product of its time. This game is five like. If you went to an average gamer and showed them this and said it came out five years ago, that would be a tough sell. I mean, it looks like it came out 15 years ago. It looks like a very early um, Xbox 360 title, except it doesn't run as well as an early 360 title. It, in fact, actually, things like Cameo and Perfect Dark Zero look significantly better than this. I would say it looks like a late generation PS2 game, but mm, I think that's being a little bit hard on the PS2 there. Uh, anyway, till next time, guys.